Okay, so for this segment, uh, I'm going to show you guys basic letter structure for uh, one letter an episode. Um, we're going to start with A and work our way down the rest of the letters of the alphabet. So uh, let's get started. First, I'm going to start out with just a really quick um, basic, you know, tag 2D thing, okay? And there's a lot of different variations of an A. A's are some of my favorite letters because you can do a whole lot with them. Um, trying to, you can go as, I mean, as you can see, there's tons of different ways that, like, you can tag an A, you can turn it into, like, a star type thing, that's basically pretty, uh, simple, but, um, I'm gonna move on to the throwy way, okay, so let's come over here, and for the throwy A's, I guess, um, you can just go, like, you can just do a really simple... Like that, that's an A. Um, do this one a little bit fancier. Uh, that's an A. It's one of those with the uh, thing up top. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can do your A's. Um, but now I'm going to move on to showing you how you do them piecewise. Like if you're going to do it in a piece. A little more like complicated. Um, now, you guys gotta remember this is just a demonstration, okay? This isn't actually like me telling you, oh, go out and do all your A's like this. No, you're supposed to have your own style, and um, that's that's what's important in graffiti is having your own style and not biting off other people's because you won't you won't get anywhere you can look at other people's stuff but if you just bite then you're not going to get anywhere um as you can see now i i do sketch out my drawings in pencil first so excuse me if these look kind of sucky but um those are some pretty simple a's um Thanks for watching this segment, guys. Uh, please stay tuned for the requests and other parts of this episode. And uh, thanks. Next week we'll be uh, doing B, which is also... What's up, guys? For this week's review, I will be reviewing the Bic White Out um, pump marker. Um, I got mine for $3 at uh, Harris Teeter. Um, they probably have them at, like, CVS and stuff. I... Uh, I'm pretty sure you can find them if you uh, look at a, any really convenience store or anything. And uh, I picked this up because I had a deco color white marker and it was opaque. That wasn't really the problem. Um, the problem was that it was I it was so fat and it was harder for doing smaller highlights and more detail with the white because it has such a fat nib. So I picked up this um, and I really really like it, guys. Um, it's, it has this two, this fat end here where you're supposed to squeeze, um, you shake it, it's got a mixer in there, and, uh, it doesn't come out unless you, um, there's a part of the tip right there, the end of it, I don't know if you can see that, but, uh, that it won't come out unless you press it, that presses down and then it'll come out, and it writes just like a pen, guys, it's really good. Um, I was kind of skeptical because Whiteout in the past had been kind of suckish, but, uh, I was actually really pleased with this. And, um, uh, because, I mean, look. Bam. 100% opaque. I really like it. And it's, that might not have done it justice, so, um, let's go over here and let's just, I mean, press and line. I mean... Shake it up, press, squeeze. I mean, the harder you squeeze, the broader the line's gonna be. And um, I really like it. It's I've actually noticed it's more opaque than the Deco Color White because it is white out. It will cover everything, um, even this black Sharpie right here. Um, I really like it, guys. It's really good for uh, touching up pieces and stuff. But, um, thanks for watching this review. Next week, I will hopefully have, be reviewing the, uh, Sharpie Magnums. Um.
Guys, today's word is burner, and that is a large piece of graffiti involving many colors, making it bright and colorful. It usually refers to whole car productions on subways. Okay, so a burner is basically the same thing as a piece. It's the most complex form of graffiti. Um, those forms, the general forms, are tags, drops, and then pieces or burners. Um, they're usually whole cars um, or burners, um, murals. Really any piece um, that's like more complex than it throws.